Anziri is back deep for the Hawkeyes. Gorgeous day, the temperature around 60 degrees under beautiful blue skies and very little wind to speak of as we begin. Sean McDonough, Chris Spielman, Todd McShay's down on the sideline. Delighted to have you with us. Iowa State is 0-2, Iowa 2-0. Netton kicks it off to the five-yard line to Jordan Kanziri. Weaving along the far numbers and down at the 26. Both of which resulted in touchdowns. They rallied from 13-3 down to win. Mark Weissman gets the first carry of the day. Season, so they've tried to minimize his exposure early in the year. But as a result, they really haven't found a rhythm in the running game, and they don't have one there either. And pass protector. He's on the right hip of Rudock, who took the shotgun snap and takes off running. As Chris said, he is a running threat, and he got about eight there, but average in large part because of the 82 yarder for a touchdown last week against Kansas State in Ames. He calls for a fair catch of the Dylan Kidd punt. During the kick, holding number 17 of the receiving team, 10 yard penalty from the end of the kick. First down. Opens in the gun. Design roll to the right. And an on-target throw out to the 27-yard line. Scored them by about a yard. 16-yard gain. Aaron Wimberly, the running back. Richardson faked it. And went ahead for about three. Wimberly. To the 33, perhaps the 34. Let's welcome in Todd McShay. Beaver, I think he's the big play specialist. Jarvis West reminds me a lot of Dexter McCluster. He's an offensive weapon. He can beat you throwing the ball, which is a surprise, in the return game, as you talked about, but also as a slot receiver. This guy's very explosive, and Iowa's trying to limit the big plays today. West off the field on third down and three. Two tight ends into the ball game for the Cyclones. Option look. Wimberly dumped for a loss. The Berg is back deep for the Hawkeye, standing at his 28. Ooh, Vandenberg got run into as he tried to field it. Kick catching interference, number eight of the kicking team. 15-yard penalty from the spot of foul. If they take if they take the shot downfield right there, Lynn has mm. got to have the control. Coordinator, his team's had a lot of trouble stopping the run. They get to Rudock, who threw today, injured a knee last week against Ball State. There was some question during the week, but he did practice, and he is playing. Tavon Smith running the reverse, and he did well. Today. Bullock again in as the third down back. He goes out and catches the pass over the middle and has a first down. That was easy. Let him get the first down. Bullock stays in now as the tailback. John Kenny, a converted linebacker, the fullback. And a good tackle. 11, no score. More than five and a half minutes played. Quick drop again by Rudock. Tavon by 10 points with three minutes to go. They scored two touchdowns in the final three minutes to beat Ball State. Quarterback draw. And he is fighting for the first down. Got very close to that. Weissman, the tailback. Kenny, the fullback. Weissman picks it up. Just six. Play action pass. Rudock dumps it over the middle to Weissman. And he gets belted. Rudock throws for a first down. Tavon Smith couldn't break the tackle. Bullock the tail back. Following the new fullback, Kenny, there's a flag thrown in the off. Holding, number 63, offense. Ten-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay, first down. Austin Blythe, the center, veteran, junior, from Williamsburg, Iowa, making his 21st straight start for the Hawkeyes. Big penalty. Solid player. A lot of times when there's penetration, like you see from the Cyclone front four, offensive linemen get a little nervous, and they start grabbing on and tackling from behind. 
Four starters back from their offensive line that went eight and five for Iowa last year. Rudolph, plenty of time and plenty of running room for Damon Bullock. Upended as he crossed the field. Two tight ends for Iowa. Typical Iowa drive that we're used to seeing in the past, not so much this year. Ball control, mix of the running path. Their identity. They stick with the two tight ends and the power run with Weissman, who has a first down. In the rhythm early on, they talk about tempo being so important. Weissman down to the two. Need to get him more into a rhythm and the offense as a whole. Second and goal from just inside the three. Weissman with blockers out in front. He stumbled down. He would have scored. Rudock in the gun. They bunch three receivers to the left. Try Bullock on the inside run, and he's down to the goal line, but not in. Lines of problems stopping the run. This is clearly the right play, and it results in a touchdown for Mark Weissman. Mick Ellis will add the extra point. The freshman up and good. Evondrick Neely, the running back, as they spread the field with four wide receivers. Richardson ran out of time, got it off for a gainer out to the third. The Cyclones go quickly. Swing pass to P.J. Harris, and he has a first down. Receivers to the right. He's in the middle of those three. Inside run. Devondrick Neely. At eight-yard gain. Sam Richardson, the ball. East Carolina beat Virginia Tech. Here at 7-0 Iowa. We're late in the first quarter. P.J. Harris the to catch bad. there. Nine minutes and 54 seconds to score a touchdown on a fourth and goal on a one-yard run by Mark Weissman. <laughs> Sam Richardson zips one for a short gain to the 39. For Kansas State, a top-20 team, and they blew a 15-point lead in that one. Sam Richardson's pass is batted down. Does. First incomplete pass for Sam Richardson. Both he and Jake Rudock are five for six passing. On third and six. He can run. He does run, and he has a first down. Second leading rusher last year is their leading rusher this season. Is it to Devondre Neely? Down to the 28. Cornerback. The cornerback stuck with the receiver. He gets the first down. We're going to see a lot of number 12 running the football today. Richardson zings one down the sideline. Look, 12th play of the drive for the Cyclones after the 16-play touchdown drive for the Hawkeyes. Richardson throws, incomplete. And Pass interference, number 34, defense. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Goes out. So they pick up the flag for pass interference. And that brings up fourth down and seven. Is 41 yards. And this one is good. So a new career long for the sophomore from Ankeny, Iowa. 47 yard. And Kanziri is in at running back. For the most part, they've gone with Weissman and Bullock. Rudock pulls it down, takes off running. Nice cut. Only got about six. Before. He's a smart guy. He's a pre med major. As Greg Davis, the offensive coordinator, said yesterday he's taking classes that I can't spell. Jordan Kanziri waves it just 53 yards rushing. They've had to throw it more than they ever have under Kirk Ferentz in these first two games, but the bottom line is two hard-fought wins. Hey, Kirk Ferentz said, this guy, that's just how he's wired. It's too good to be true. Kanziri yanked down by John Kenny is the fullback leading the way for Weissman. Found a nice hole, crushed midfield, got the first down. Rudolph taken down from behind. Iowa City yesterday. 
Hawkeyes leading 7-3, second quarter, second and 16. Damon Bullock with some blockers. Look, the swing pass to the Cyclone 40. In by many of those services that do those ratings. Five wide receivers for Rudock, and his slant is dropped. Look, Dylan Kidd will punt. He's the son of John Kidd, who punted for 15 years in the NFL. Their catch made by 2012. Iowa won last year in Ames. Aaron Wimberly. They try to dig out of the hole of the soft season was Mark Mangino, terrific offensive mind. Our head coach of Kansas. That pass incomplete. That looked like it went right through Iowa. Pistol formation. Devondrick Neely, the running back. Sam Richardson faked it to him. Was running out of time and threw a floater incomplete through the hands. Unusual to have one of these great rivalry games that doesn't involve two teams from the same conference. Matt Van get involved for Iowa. That's part of their offense and who they are. Jake Rudock to throw on first down, down the middle, and caught by the tight end, Ray Hamilton. He's seven for nine. He's gone over 3,000 yards for his career passing now, the 11th Iowa quarterback to do that. Devontae Martin Manley picked the... Second and five, Mark Weissman, nice cut back to the right. He appears to have another first down at the eight. Whoever wins, be a front runner. <laughs> Damon Bullock couldn't turn running the football. That was rushed for just 52 yards so far. Damon Bullock again. Alton Meeks made third down and eight. They are in field goal range, but they've had all kinds of field goal problems. Bullock yard field goal, they're not going to try it. Jacob Hillier goes in motion. Three wide receivers. Rudock. Lots of time, We're running out of time. Throws, and it is caught in traffic for a first down to the six. Sam E. Richardson, one of two Sam Richardsons on that team, had the coverage, and he's lucky. Leisman following Kenny. And the entire Iowa State defense drive with 16 plays. Five tackles already for Corey Morrissey. Option for Rudolph. He keeps it and scores. Flag down on the play. Back at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, the umpire, quick indication of holding. Holding. Number 93, defense. Mm. The penalty is declined. The play resulted in touchdown. Get a lot of those Sean holding calls because his job is to keep linebackers clean and to force a double team to stay on him. Take a look at number 93, Jensen. He's inside and he's holding and spinning around Jordan Walsh, 65. And what a good athletic play by Rudock. Running the option, making the right read to keep it and score. Mick Ellis, the freshman. Kicks the extra point. He's taking over. From the 25, Richardson swings one out. It's dropped by E.J. Bibbs. At 5 for 5, he's now 0 for his last 6. Well, he's got a couple that should have been caught, including that one. Back on target there to Jarvis West. Jarvis West picks up some blocks and with some nifty running, he's across midfield. With the for West, who had a huge game last week. And their loss to K-State. Neely taken down to his hands in space. He's certainly dangerous. On second and six, Richardson throws. And Lazard could four receivers, three to the right of Richardson. And a good throw on target to Alan Lazard, who has a first down. In Four catches for an average of 22 and a half coming in. Andre Neely. It, he had three touchdowns last year against the Hawkeyes. EJ Bibbs, a diving catch in. Of a touchdown last week against Ball State. First and goal. And there's a ball free in the end zone. Did he cross before it came out? First, the ruling on the field. 
the ruling on the field is that the running back fumbled the ball before he broke the play in the goal line. The defense recovered the fumble in the end zone for a touchback. And the question is, A, is that the correct call? And will these folks still be celebrating after the replay review? Covering the ball up with two hands yeah, right there. That's out. That ball's Ex out. It was a good call. Excellent call and a good hit by. Looked like they were about to. Got alert screen on the first play of two minute drill. A swing pass and Bullock gets buried. Expect the play calling might be conservative here. Quarterback run, quarterback draw. Rudolph slides down. Mistakes. Yeah, just one timeout left. Rudolph, that's why you have to be careful. Four yards rushing and the five yard touchdown run. Iowa State will get the ball to begin the second half. To keep his head up, and as Paul said to Tommy Shea, they have, they're going to need Neely in the second half. They're going to come back and win it. Sam Richardson came out throwing to Alan Lazard for some drops by his players around him and operates with a little more sense of urgency. Swings it out wide. They do get it to Jarvis West. He's very near. See, that's why he went to number three in spring to number one to start the season. Throws to P.J. Harris, who steps his way out to the 38-yard line. Second down and seven. Sam Richardson throws, and it is caught across midfield. Richardson now 12 out of 19 for 132. Neely, the ball's out again. This 74 yard drive when it looked like they were going to score and make execute. And they bring a blitz after Richardson. And the screen was set up and they couldn't execute. Four man rush. Richardson flush does a lot of running room. There's a flag down back behind the line of scrimmage. He died. Wound if that's the case. Two out of five on third down. Richardson pressured in the pocket. Goes on the run. West has it, but he's short of the first down. Colin Downing punts. Iowa State in the battle for the Cy Hawk trophy. Early third quarter, first and ten Hawkeyes and Damon Bullock. We've seen it today. He's been so efficient throwing the football. 10 of 13, 103 yards. He completes another pass there. On target. Goes down and open up respectively. Third down and five. Oh, look at the right tackle was wobbling a couple of times. Ball start. Number 78. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Third down. And finally. Just the second penalty against Iowa. There have been only three against Iowa State. Three-man rush, and then Rudolph throws an interception. The first takeaway by the Cyclone defense this year, T.J. Mutcherson with the pick. And Iowa State's in business at the Hawkeye 32. Two things here, Sean. The ball gets away from Rudolph, and the receiver falls down. Richardson is in perfect position to break on the football. Protection is solid. The ball gets away from him a little bit, then the receiver trips and falls. Richardson right there where safety should be. And good coverage underneath by Drake Furch to force the overthrow. Well, a takeaway, the first of the year for Iowa State. In the third quarter, their third game of the season. Can they capitalize? Richardson out in the flat, caught by Alan Lazard. See if the shadows will be a problem at all for these receivers, covering almost half the field now, the near side of the field. No problem there for Wimbledon out of the back. We get home against K-State when they were poised to have a great upset win. Swing pass. Wimberley banged down inside the came of safety, and he's becoming a good one. They fake the inside handoff to Wimberley. Now, Richardson. Option. Richardson to the goal line. No signal. Problem with the exchange. Nearly still not in the game. Oh, they throw a pass, and Bibbs caught the ball. 
He was wide open, but Richardson threw it short, and Bibbs used all of that six foot three frame to catch the ball. And undoubtedly, this will be reviewed. The official right there had a great view of it, but did he catch it before it hit the ground? Yes. That's a great catch. What a play. Got and the hands underneath the ball. Yeah. And what just a disaster that would have been. If he hadn't made the catch, the crowd doesn't think he did, but out of the catch, so they take advantage of the interception, their first takeaway of the year, and they turn it into seven points. It's called Netton. Adds in four with 6.50 to go. In the third quarter, Cole Netton kicks off to Jordan Kanziri. Coles is pretty darn good himself. Really good football player. Play action pass, Jake Rudock on the run, has some running room, takes off running. Blake tackled as he crossed the 30. Jake Doozy gave him a nice block. Another good decision. It's a run pass option. And Jake has shown a lot of athletic ability. He could give it to Doozy right there, but he trusts himself to get more yards with his legs. Safer play. It's still a problem for Iowa when he's their leading rusher. That's just not Iowa. That's not him. Dante Martin Manley got walloped. Needs 34 to become their all time leading receiver. Pass. Terrell Johnson. He'll bring the spread element when he does play. Weissman. Boy, it looked like they were going to drop him for a loss. <laughs> yeah, just to scare everybody. Way toward the line. <laughs> 12th carry for Weissman for just 32 yards. He has it again. Picks up the first down. Jevin Miller. I was rushed for just 89 yards today against a team that had been dreadful against the run in the first two weeks. Rudock in trouble and pulled down by Brandon Jensen. Total in the first two games of the year. Played against teams that predominantly run the football in North Dakota State and Kansas State. Rudock throws it away. Most 100% other guys. <laughs> Damon Bullock, their third down back in to the left of Rudock. Wally Burnham rushes just three. But Rudock is running for his life and he slides down behind the line. The punt to the dangerous Jarvis West. Short and wobbly. Handed right on the 25 yard line. Took like a good bounce for Iowa. We'll be Googling it, trying to figure it out. Because <laughs> he cheats every week on the Aflac question. Sam Richardson with his team down by four. Flushed by Nate Meyer. Takes off running. Junior from Winter Park, Florida. Handles a low snap. Throws a strike to Aaron Wimberly. Back on linebacker. Richardson kept it. Didn't get there. Take the issue. Played eight man football in high school. He told us there were 11 in his high school graduating class. Four of them were girls. Bullock. <laughs> Off the left side. <laughs> well, you're still mad. The horseshoe was in Spielman Stadium. Yes. Bullock someday. Bullock carries her. They thought they'd complain about the weather. <laughs> Jake Rudock, non first and ten, crosses midfield. And then slot. Going this last quarter in their last two or three possessions. Bullock, they do stick with the run. What are you going to do? They play power football, and Weissman picks it up. Offended by. Five-man rush. Rudock dumps it off short. Tight end John Kenny. His Three receivers set for the Hawkeyes now on second and eight. Damon Bullock, the running back. Oh, he missed a cutback. Wow, did he miss a cutback. 115 yards rushing. There's the 41st run of the day. Bullock spun down. Crowd. Dylan Kidd is going to punt. Jarvis West back deep. 
Fair catch made at the eight. Sam Richardson starts this possession from his own eight. The swing pass, Jarvis West. The routes have been moving the football when they choose to do that. Richardson over the middle and caught by Allen. Look, big old split between the guard and center down at the bottom of your screen. Trying to run through it was Wimberly, a short game. I believe that's a Miami team that lost to Eastern Kentucky. Yes, Red Hawks. It'd be a tough loss for Michigan if that would happen. Yep. Richardson deep down the field and West couldn't hang. Personal foul. Targeting on the defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. The play. Is the Lomax is gone for the game. Anthony Gear doesn't play very much, is in at his safety position. That's a big loss. Here comes Gear up to make and six. From their own 46, nine and a half minutes to go. Cyclones down by four. Richardson's played very well. Throws, caught, first down. It's E.J. Bibbs. Strong hands. Mark Mangino raves about Bibbs' athleticism. Said he could be a quarterback, a running back, a wide receiver. Richardson had to throw that one. Second and ten. Iowa brings the blitz. It was picked up. And the pass caught by Brett Metters. And there's a third down and three, perhaps four down territory. Richardson has running room to the right. That's a great block from Bibbs, has the first down. Devondrick Neely's back on the field now after a couple of fumbles. We've hardly seen him. Richardson throwing deep for Neely. Hangs on to that one for a touchdown. And the lead for Iowa State. That's the first play since the second fumble, in which Neely has taken part. And what a time to put him back in. Clearly, they had that play designed for him, and they executed perfectly. And now the extra point good from Cole Netton into the all straight Netton. Devondrick Neely to get into the end zone. Iowa State leads for the first time today, midway through the fourth quarter. Here's Jonathan Parker. Iowa play. Bear in mind, if they get in field goal range, they have field goal to phobia here. They don't have anybody who can kick one. And Rudock is belted down to the ground by Mitchell Myers. Force, ball start, number 83, offense, five-yard penalty, personal foul, number 90, defense, 15-yard penalty, and an automatic first down. Is over. Some games are uneventful. This has had its share. The targeting penalty was a big part of it. Iowa team to 10, drove down in the final minutes, scored a touchdown to win. We asked Kirk Ferentz yesterday as Weissman gets the first down, then gets driven back. If they had been stopped, and trust your young kicker to either tie a game or win a game for you. Rudock throws, caught. Tavon Smith, a big gainer across midfield. Competitive. In recent years, Iowa won 15 in a row, a streak that ended in an upset in 1998. Paul Rhodes was on the Iowa State staff as an assistant to Dan McCartney. Rudolph throws it away. He's on target to Tavon Smith. For man, if you're running back, Iowa does not have that man. Third down to short two. Weissman they have excels that. in these situations. <laughs> First down to five minutes to go. Jake Rudock off short through the hands of White. Again, they're in field goal range for Kane. He has a long enough leg. The question is, would they try it? Damon Bullet space. On third and five, they're trying to throw. Rudolph throws incomplete. They want a flag. I mean, it's a pressure-packed enough situation for this young man. High snap, and he made it from 44 yards. Maybe that's what they ought to do. For 17 in this half with two touchdowns. He'd almost have a perfect game today if he took away the drops. 
Very close to it. And the matchup between running backs on linebackers. They're deep down the depth chart at wide receiver. That ball almost intercepted. Instead, it's caught by Alan Lazard. Hill, Iowa. He was a USA Today High School All-American. Highly recruited. Wimberley. A, had a good freshman year a year ago, but struggled on the longer kicks. Made a 47-yarder today. Too high to handle. Air in for the ejected Lomax. Trying to help align the defense. They rushed five and didn't get there, and it's a first down. Brett, the spring, the coaches were really down on him. He won the job with a great performance in the summer. And he's been tremendous today. Wimberley. From the 43. Four-man rush. They didn't get close, and it's just over the head. All crowding up around the line. The middle of that defense just beyond the line of scrimmage would be wide open. Richardson on third and six. Incomplete. Looking for Bibbs. To the pass. Holding. Number 43, defense. Ten-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. You know, Sean, he's in good position, too. It's a... They're just about... At the edge of field goal range, I think Paul Rhodes would try it from here if he had to. Down no, but as we progress forward. Second and eight inside handoff, and they lose a yard or two as Wimber just to get a little closer to the field goal, and as you said, maybe get in the middle of the field. Looked like there was movement along the line of scrimmage. There is a flag down. Wimberly carries to the... Offside defense, five-yard penalty. Mm. Wow. Replay third down. Run. Wimberly gets it more toward the center of the field. Looks like he has the first down. For a long time. 42-yard attempt. Snap and hold are good, and there's a whistle, I believe, before the kick. The kick was no good, but I think Kirk Ferentz used his timeout. He did. Timeout, Iowa. The kick was missed, but it doesn't count. Sean, he missed it left. So sometimes you're going to see Coach Ferentz right here working with the referee, telling him he's going to call timeout before the kick. Right there he does. I just want to make this point. Sometimes when a young kicker, he misses left, sometimes he'll overcompensate and miss right on the next one. Let's see if he can regather his steps and thoughts. And that, Yeah, that was close. Anybody who plays golf can relate to that. You hook or pull one, tend to block the next one. He's a good kicker, had a very solid freshman year, as we mentioned, last year. No timeouts left for Iowa. They can't do that again. Snap and hold are good again. This time it is right down the middle. Two seconds to go. And the Cyclones are two. Execution by Iowa State. Took more than four minutes off the clock to take the lead. Here come the laterals. Jonathan Parker. They're in trouble already. Vandenberg couldn't handle it. And it winds up in the hands of the kicker, Cole Netton. A fitting finish.